Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing four different eye looks in which I use four different colors as a pop of fun color underneath my eyes. So if you want to see what colors I used underneath my eyes to create fun summery looks, then please keep watching. So I have already put on most of my face makeup. I've done foundation, powder, concealer, and I've done my eyebrows and a little bit of bronzing and highlighting. So now I'm going to move on to my I'll eyes. I'll be starting off using the Lorac Unzipped Palette and I'll be using the shade Unconditional, which is a warm brown that I use in my crease a lot. So that's where I'm going to start with this color. And just kind of buff it in using circular motions. I've also already highlighted my brow bone. Next I'll be using the L'Oreal eyeshadow quad in Rose for Romance. Uh, these colors don't have their own name but I'll be using the lightest shade down at the bottom there and a stiffer brush and this is what I'm going to be applying all over my upper lid just as a kind of light shimmery color. And don't put it above the crease. Next I'll be using Maybelline Eye Studio Black Gel Eyeliner. This is in the shade Black is Black. Um, I'm not going to be doing anything fancy with the eyeliner today since I don't want to take over what I'm doing on my lower lash line, so I'll just be doing a thin line right above my lashes. And I use a smaller angled brush for this. So I tried to do my eyeliner off camera and uh, this is what happened, so real life got eyeliner all over my face. Good job. So I finished doing my eyeliner and I also curled my upper lashes and put some mascara on. So what you want to focus on on the upper lid for this look, if you're going to do something colorful underneath, you want to have something neutral up top, not using too crazy colors, which is why I just use the brown in my crease and then just a little bit of shimmer to kind of give the eyes some pop at the top. So now we're going to go in with our bottom lash line. We have four colors that we're using today. We have blue, green, uh, purple, and pink. So you... What you want to focus on for this is what you're wearing. I chose to just wear kind of a white top today because that's going to, since I'm doing all four colors, that's what's going to work the best. White or black, or if you want to do a contrasting color, like if you're doing pink underneath, you might want to wear a green shirt or something like that. So for all four colors, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. 150-piece eyeshadow palette. I think this came out around Christmas when they were doing like huge sales. Um, this has so many colors in it, obviously, like there's 150 of them. I'll be using the brighter ones today since that's what we're going for. Um, this eyeshadow palette is pretty good. It's not my favorite, but I think it was like $5 and the colors are pretty pigmented, so for $5 you really can't go wrong. So I'll be using the e.l.f. Professional Eye Crease Brush, which is a small fluffy brush, and that's what I'll use, that's what I usually use under my eyes. So the first color that we're going to start with is the blue. So I'm going to take this kind of teal, dark teal color right in the very corner there, and I'm going to pat my brush in it, tap it off. You don't want to get too much on because you want to kind of build it, that's what works best for dark colors and just start applying that right underneath my lower lash line. And don't go all the way in but go most of the way in. And make sure you get to that corner. You 
then I'm going to go in with a lighter teal shade, the one right next to it. And this is what I'm going to use to smoke that color out, since we don't want any harsh lines, or if it doesn't look blended underneath, that's just not a pretty look. So, blending that back and forth. And just take your time with this. So this teal color in particular, I've been loving lately. Um, it reminds me of like swimming in a pool. So I love doing this look in the summer, just as kind of a pop underneath my eyes. So the second color that I'm going to use underneath my eyes as a pop of color is this kind of bright green right here. So same thing, dip my brush in, tap it off and slowly work that underneath my eye. This one isn't too different from the teal that we just did, but it is a little different. Then I'm going in with a lighter shade again this bright green right here and that's what I'm going to use to smoke this color out. You always want to use a lighter color to smoke another color out. So here is the look for the forest green pop of color underneath my eyes. The third color that I'll be using is purple. Um, I'm going to be mixing these two shades together so I just pop my brush in one and then the other, tap it off, and apply it. This one is more subtle than the blue and green, but it's still pretty. And for this one, I, since I already mixed two colors, I'm not going to be using a lighter color to buff it out. I'm just buffing it out by itself. And don't take the color too low or else it'll look messy. So this is the purple under eye look. The final color that I'll be using is a bright pink. It's kind of coral right there. So same as with the other three. Take my brush in, tap it off, and apply. And when using a pink, you got to be careful because you don't want it to make it look like you have an eye infection. That's not a cute look. Then I'll be using this lighter shade right next to it to buff it out. So this is the final pink look. Uh, where you would go from here is you would want to apply mascara to your bottom lashes. That will kind of even out the pop of color underneath. And you want to keep your lips neutral. I just used a clear gloss on mine today, so I didn't even do any kind of cool lip color. Just because you want the eyes to stand I just out. applied mascara to my bottom lashes, which finishes up this look. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching.